back in two rods, we've got the Hakai Baycaster and the ITX carbon spinning reel. What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So I am on the road. I had a four and a half hour drive today to get to this spot here in Texas where I am buying a bass boat, baby. This boat is freaking nice as well. If this boat is anything like it is in the pictures, then I am for sure buying this boat today. I already went by the bank and got the paperwork all filled out. Got the check right here next to me. Just waiting, just waiting to get used. But yeah, the guys are already out there at the lake fishing, having fun, sending me pictures of it. I'm like, man, this sucks. I was back there stuck in traffic. I sent him a picture of that and I was like, man, your view is a lot better than mine. But this guy's pretty cool. I told him I brought some rods today and if he wants to do any fishing, then I am totally down for that. So we're gonna actually fish on the boat before I buy it. So hopefully I can catch my first fish on this boat before even buying the boat. That would be pretty freaking cool. I'm about 30 minutes away from the boat ramp, so we're gonna get there and go check out this new bass boat. I'm telling you guys, it is freaking beautiful. But uh, hopefully it's beautiful in person. We'll see, we'll check it all out. I'll film the entire process of me checking it over and uh, buying it, but I'm stoked, man. It's gonna be a pretty awesome day. Since I live in Texas, a lot of people just assume that I'm always in hot weather, but that's not the case. As you just saw, that was my kayak. It was frozen solid cold, it was ice. I live at the top of Texas and it gets pretty freaking cold. I remember telling people when I got this jackets and stuff, one of the guys said that I wouldn't be wearing this here in Texas. Trust me, I wear it all the time. But yeah, just letting y'all know it does in fact snow in Texas. Almost there, but probably 20 more minutes now, but that's that. Let's go to the boat ramps and check out this boat. Check out that catfish. All right, we made it to the lake. Grab my pole and my bag, and I think this is him down at the docks right now. So we'll hop on the boat and go for a little ride. I know it. <laughs> this is a nice little lake. Oh, really? Yeah. We're still up here. You won't mind being on camera, do you? No. Okay, cool. With the drop shot? Maybe. I don't know. I might tie on the Ned rig. But I just brought two poles. This boat's pretty freaking clean, man. Yeah, the gentleman I bought it from, he's like 70, 75. He's like, I don't use it. He's like, I just want to sell it so I can go buy a golf cart. Oh, <laughs> thank you. The gentleman, he was the second owner. The gentleman before him that owned it barely ever used the boat, too. Okay. So. From what I was told, I mean, I only right, one, right. So. so, but everything you see, I pretty much put on within the last year, brand new. Like the so electronics and stuff. Electronics, I put in the drop pan, the the, like, the mount for the electronics, the straps. Okay, um, this is a little cooler. Ram mount, yep, a little cooler. Heck yeah. Ram mount, put this one in. New battery, new tires on the trailer. Okay. Pretty much put in a new uh, live well pump, new plug. Took all that shit out. Put brand new ones in. Okay. And it didn't need it. It was just maintenance. I mean, it's a 2006. So yeah. Like, so now the trick to start it if she's cold, right? You already know there's a choke built into yeah, the the key. Yeah. Push it in. Now if she doesn't want to go off of that, then you just pull the choke on the main motor. Okay. Pull it all the way out. She'll fire up. Let her run for a second, then push her back in okay. and let her idle. That's cool. So, Yamaha. I never had the Yamaha before. So everybody I'm not used... I know in my group of friends and shit, they all have. They, they love all, Yamahas. They all run the Yamas. Like I said, I don't know this like very well. What we'll probably do is just from that point back in this area. Okay. Run it, do whatever you want with it, and then uh, go fish. I don't know. What Sounds good. Like this lake is very deep. Yeah, 60. I saw. Yeah. That's how my lake is. stripers in here and shit. Oh, really? Go, yeah, because there's a bunch of like uh, uh, ledges and shit. Yeah. 
I wish my leg had striper. But what we could do is just go play with it for a little bit and then I'll let you slide over and Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah, if not, she'll she'll roll water over the top nah. of you. <laughs> okay. But this pretty smooth. Yeah, I've never had an issue with this bike. Go ahead, my man. The only no. thing I would say is, like I said, I don't know these banks. Right. So like, yeah. Up on them. So we're good in the middle. Straight up in the middle. Yep. Oh, awesome. Okay. This screen's awesome. How do you adjust it? Do you change the tilt or anything? You go up with so it? The only thing is right there. Right. Yep. So I keep it all the way down. So make the, sure it's all the way down. All the way down. Okay. Yep. Turn this way. Don't gun it yet. Lay off of it a little bit. So once you get up on pad, then you raise that ass end of that motor just a little bit, and you'll see the difference from like it feel like it's dragging uh -huh. to now it's she's, she's cruising. So I'm playing, okay. Yep. So just and just her, just ease into it. Just give her, yep. Okay. Keep going. Give her some. Give her some. Give her some. A little bit more. 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 Now trim up just a little bit. front end wait not yet once you feel your front end drop there you go good are we down okay we're down yeah we're down You're i was good. waiting for it <laughs> yeah yeah man this feels really good i had a uh an older procraft okay i think so freaking slapped oh really and then i sold it because i thought i was in a pcs somewhere else they're like, ah, oh, you're just going up the road. And I was like, fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> so then I was like, found the dude that was selling this thing. It's a great care of it. Garage kept. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And that's why, like, I had some, like, is that the original paint or did you paint it? I was like, no. It's, that's what, it's original. It's boat's original, except some of the things that I switched out. Okay, I'll let you take over. Okay, yeah. You're more comfortable. Oh, yeah. You and then, know. uh. If you're not comfortable. We can, no, know. we're good. I just, I don't want to hit anything. And then, no, yeah, <laughs> you know. Me <laughs> so, uh. So what do you, you want to fish or do whatever? Yeah, let's go. We can try fishing. Yep. This is cool. So the great thing about it, most of 6s though, they don't have power steering. That's okay. It does. So this one has power steering. That's pretty And sweet. then your power steering uh, fill is right here. So if oh. you're like, she still has a little bit of play, uh -huh. but if you get a lot of play, you just twist this top part off fill her up. and you fill her up. Okay. Yep. So that's the good thing. Most of them, like my buddies, he didn't have power steering, it was a pain in the ass. can do is find I've a spot. And then uh, I'll let you kind of play with everything. Okay. We can look at everything. Is this the charger? Yep. Free. It's hooked up. So what I mean by that is um, there's a free bank charger in the back. Uh huh. It will charge everything on your boat for you. Okay, the only sweet. Thing you gotta do is plug an extension cord into that, and your whole boat is getting charged. Okay. From your trolling motor to your main battery. Sweet. To everything. So you got 24 volt, of course. Minn Kota Ultrax has a spot lock. I don't use the remote it's in the box in there okay i have the front pedestal seat that you lean on in the truck i have the back seat okay. i just i move around on the boat too much it's yeah like I don't the fucking either. they get in my way yeah you got your live oil. Oil. yep so yeah i'll just kill it right now just just float so you got a two separate live wells if you want one big ass one divider divider nice yep it's freaking sweet Thank you. 
just gonna pour out right here. Oh yeah, it comes so that's outside. Your control. Right? So it's open and close. Yep. Okay. So you got auto, which is gonna automatically do it if your switches are on. And then you have recirculate and that's to close the the ports. Okay. And they'll just recirculate the water that's in the oh, tank. Okay, I got you. So auto is you're pulling directly from the lake. Recirculate is you're closing it, and you're in. just recirculating what's in the what's in the live wells. Okay. So and I just put that live well pump on. Okay. So that's a brand new live well pump. And uh, that was actually, I think, I put that on like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So that's the first time I pulled water through it. So you're pretty good around boats, huh? You do a lot of... Yeah, I mean, I've built my own lower units and all that other shit. So. That's awesome. I need to get that way. That's what happens when you fish in Arkansas <laughs> on the river and you fucking run into a big ass rock. Oh rock gosh. Wood. You just got to fix everything. Yeah, you got to pull out the whole lower unit. Uh, so that front one goes up, kind of up this way a little bit too. So it goes like way okay. up in here. And then I put these little dividers on it on the side. Oh, so usually all my I saw lineup. the picture, it looked yep. pretty good. I and like then that. I like I had a box here that had all the line in it and I had like a little thing that had all like my dips dyes. Plastics. Like, you and, know what I mean? Yeah. And then toilet paper and all that. So and, and these are rod walkers on the sides. Yep. Yep. So they're both the same. Um this one with your trolling motor and this here. This one I usually had like the throw cushion and shit oh, that, yeah. that okay. I don't really fuck with too much. Mm -hmm. And then on this side is where I had all my rods. And I think I had about 30 of them in here. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's and it big. goes all the way. And I had my biggest rod, I think, was 7 11. And they didn't even touch the front of the Really? Rod. Okay, yeah. good deal. So the only downfall that I don't like on this whole boat is the jet. The shortness of it or what? I mean, it's not short, it's just with your rods. Yeah, so that's, that's the only thing I worried about, but that's still not bad. No, not at all. I've that's never had bad. an issue with it. Nope. And so I ran those plastic, or not the, like the rubber padding right there. Yeah, like the yep. so gator guard or whatever. Side, put these in myself. Oh, nice. I love those. Um, put the tray in myself, the trolling motor on myself. I put all, the, all this, I did myself. Because uh, when I got it from the old man, oh. everything was original. Oh, really? Yeah. So All, all the, the old parts and stuff. Put on there. Um, it that is that do do the lithium as well? It should. I think Don't it quote does. Me on that, but just right. double, you'd have to double check. I just got one from my John boat. I'm yeah, pretty you'd sure have to it double does. Check. Okay. So you got your troll motor batteries, your cranking battery, oil reservoir. So it it's an injection. Yep. That's good. So oil. And that's what you're bill. using there. Awesome. Yep. Oil stay bill. If you need uh, hydraulic or the power steering. Okay. Sweet. Keep it there. Jumpers are right there. Um, yeah, this looks great. So it's clean. Yeah. A lot cleaner than most older boats you find. <laughs> yeah. Usually this is just fucking just nasty. And that uh live oil pump just replaced. Village okay. pump works. Never had any issues. Okay. Heck yeah, man. Looks good. So thank you. Alright, yeah, she looks real good. So that? Yeah, my last boat had one. That was a must for me. That's why I like this boat. Now you're chilling. <laughs> Swap lock. Yeah, it's freaking beautiful. I missed it. I sold my boat and I was like, dude, I fucked up. This is mm -hmm. bad. <laughs> this is real bad. Yep. For me, like, I don't have to sell. I'll take it with me if I have You're to. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I wanted to put it out there because our plan is when we go back up to Oregon is buy land, get some property and shit. And I was like, hmm. Is he? Put it out there and see if it sells. If right. it does, cool. If not, whatever, I'll take it with me. But it's nice to have a cushion of cash. Yeah. And once you get her warm off the trailer, she'll start every time. Yeah, yeah. And I but, said, if, she's, if you don't pull that choke off the motor, if she's playing with you, like, pull that choke, she'll crank. So you, you never have to give it just throttle? Okay. Nope. I know some of the old strokes, like two strokes, you Yeah, go, yeah, that was my last boat. And and shit. <laughs> yeah. No. Good deal. Nope. Just make sure, like, push it first and turn it. If she's, if she's too cold, she won't. And you'll know. Okay. And then all you do is go to the back, pull it out, crank her up, she'll fire, push it back in, and let her idle for a second, okay. warm up. She's good. Try this jerk bait. Like These are just set for like your standard. So you have to actually go in and play with them because I mean, I just. Throw them, yeah. That's how I was. I used a little crappy one on the back. Yep. Had a 12 inch on front, never used it. <laughs> well, you got a 12 there. Then you got a nine up 
46 water temp. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to catch anything, but not bad to throw a few casts. Test it out. Kind of get a feel on how how it fishes. I'll throw a few up there. So we didn't catch any fish, which was expected in this cold water. You have to be out here all day just to catch a few fish when the water is this cold. But this boat is freaking awesome. So he is backing up the trailer. Guys, I think I'm gonna go for it. This boat is pretty freaking nice, dude. It is as nice as it was in the pictures. This is 06 and there's like no scratches, no sun damage. It was kept in a garage. It runs perfect. We're going for it. She shines, man. Like glitter is pretty. I didn't see that in the picture. I saw the glitter, but not like this much. Oh, and she has a lot of glitter, yeah. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's only all original. Love the colors. All right, so it is the next day and I am now home with the boat. I drove in last night, but the four hour drive was great. It was nice to get away, go check out a new lake, and of course, buy this awesome boat. But you're probably asking yourself a few questions right now, like, didn't I just build a John boat? What's gonna happen to the John boat? And also, didn't I want a center console fiberglass boat? And uh, yes, yes I did. When I sold my last boat, I was saying that I wanted a center console fiberglass boat. And uh, that's what I've been looking for, but couldn't find any. I've been looking this whole time, I've been building a John boat and nothing ever came up. And if one did come up, it was like all the way across Texas. None of them were close to me, so I was like, man, this sucks. But then this boat popped up and I was like, yes, it is perfect. This boat is a all fiberglass boat. My last bass boat had a bunch of wood in it. It was an older boat made with wood and I always worried about the wood rotting. So every time it rained, I worried. And one time we're out on the lake and uh, it started pouring down rain. All these boats started rushing to the boat ramp. We were in like seventh place. And I had to wait for like seven people to load their boat before I could. So uh, I was just sitting out there on the lake and pouring down rain and I could not do anything about it and it sucked. I worried about the wood rotting, but on this boat I won't have to. We can be out in the rain if we want to and I won't have to worry too much about anything. So that's one reason why I got this boat because it is all fiberglass and then of course it's just awesome. You know, it's a bass boat made for fishing. Another reason I didn't like it last bass boat because it was a bass boat and a ski boat. It wasn't a bass boat. It was a fish and a ski boat. And it just wasn't made for fishing. This is made for fishing and fishing only. So, and about the John boat. Yes, I just finished the John boat, but we're not done with it, all right? I still have a few more things to do to it. And then I'm still gonna be taking that out to the lake, fishing off that. Uh, in the future, I probably will sell it. It just depends. Uh, we have this boat now, right? Would I want a little tiny John boat or this huge bass boat that goes fast? So here's my own personal opinion on these boats. So you have a bass boat and you have a John boat. And I think that every person should have one of each. I really do. So you have a bass boat, which you can pretty much go anywhere, go fast, go in deep water, all that good stuff, go in rough water. It's a bigger boat, wider platform, way more stable. And then you have a John boat, which they're small, the motor's not as big, you can't go as fast. But with a John boat, John boats can go anywhere. And I want my John boat to go back in the trees, go in shallow water, places where I can't go with this bass boat. This bass boat is super nice and I don't want to destroy it. I don't want to scratch it up. I will have to baby this boat and I don't have to, but I want to because it is that nice. This boat is a 2006 and there's like no scratches. There's one scratch on the bottom of this boat that I saw so far and that's it. Like, it's insane how nice it is. I did see some more scratches. I need to look it over some more, which I will soon. But uh, 
yeah there's like no scratches on this boat and i want to keep it that way it's a bass boat paid a lot more money for it so i want to keep it nice but with my john boat while i did make it nice spent some money on it i never wanted to baby my john boat that was a boat i could take into trees take over grass and not care about it right we have a spot on our lake the only spot with trees and uh, you can kind of go inside the trees and fish in that little area. You're hitting stumps, you're hitting stuff. And that is why I want my John boat to go back in there and not have to worry about scratching it or anything like that. That's also why I don't want to put a whole bunch of time in repainting it because if I paint it, it's going to make me want to baby it and not scratch it. So I'm not going to paint it for that specific reason. But selling it. I did talk about selling it to an NBA player. We talked about it, he said he was down, but I haven't messaged him since. And I'm probably not going to, if he sees this video by any chance, or if he watches this and he brings it up, I'll probably sell it. But again, I'm gonna use it for a while, make the videos that you all wanna see with it. But if it's just sitting here in my yard not being used, that thing has a freaking live scope. Hydrowave, it has all these awesome electronics and there's no way I'm just gonna let it sit out here in the yard and not be used. So if it gets to that point where I'm just using this boat every single day, then yeah, I'm gonna sell the John boat because it's just worth too much money to not be used. So uh, yeah, that might upset a few people, but I just don't want it sitting there. I don't want it sitting outside all year, not being used, all that money just going to waste. So if I can sell it, I'm probably gonna sell it. But again, that is just if I don't use it. Uh, yeah, I knew this was gonna come. I knew I was getting a boat very soon. I wasn't expecting to get it this soon. I was expecting to take the boat out for a while. Uh, I was looking online, nothing ever came up. And then I saw this boat. This boat was posted a week ago. I saw it and I was like, that's the one. I knew it was the one when I saw the pictures. It looks so freaking nice. No scratches. It, it still looks brand new. I wouldn't say brand new. I would. I would say brand new. This thing looks amazing. It does not look like a 2006 boat. So this is a 2006 Stratos 285 Pro XL. We got the Yamaha VMAX there in the back, the 150. My first ever Yamaha, so I'm excited about that. Ah, the Altrex. I missed you, girl. I missed you. Look how nice this is, dude. All the electronics he put on this boat have been on here less than a year and it shows man all this is super nice he's never even used the remote i was going through the boxes earlier and the remote is still in the original packaging never used brand new so i mean it's insane dude as you heard throughout the video he has upgraded a bunch of stuff on this boat he even got new tires on the trailer i mean the trailer looks freaking super nice as well everything about this boat is just perfect and I am so freaking happy she is mine. He also said that he would throw in this crankbait that he found, so that was really the selling point for me. The only bad thing about me owning this boat is everyone else that had it, the three people, they all kept it in a garage. But now that I have it, it's gonna be an outside boat. Sorry, bud, I don't have a garage to store you in. Hopefully I can keep her somewhat nice. It did come with a cover, but this is a nitro cover, which the guy told me. He told me that it does have a cover, or he has a cover, but it does not fit this boat. Well, he didn't know if it fit or not, but I threw it on last night and it doesn't fit. It's a little short. It does cover. It's enough to cover it for the next few days. I did order a new cover for this boat and a cover for the motor. So that will be here soon. And I will protect and baby this boat and keep it nice as it is for as long as I can. So, And I already love it so much. Took it out once with the guy you just saw that and it it's awesome it's perfect it rides so freaking smooth way better than my uh pro craft i had for sure that boat was big heavy old and it kind of dragged a little bit it was an awesome boat i loved it had a lot of fun with it but uh this boat is way better and i'm definitely keeping this boat for sure i will be going over this boat in the next video or so uh kind of going in a deeper detail showing you all the hatches all that good stuff all this console here but First, I want to finish the John boat. So a John boat video is coming out tomorrow, adding a few more things to it, talking about it a little bit more. So uh, yeah, guys, we're not done with the John boat just yet. I'm, I'm gonna use it, I promise. But again, down the road, it may be sold. 
you know I just don't want it sitting there honestly that's a lot of money a lot of awesome electronics on that boat and someone needs to be using it it's not gonna sit out in the yard if it does if it gets to that point I'm selling it sorry if that upsets anyone but uh, you know gotta do it gotta do it but uh, guys I hope you all enjoyed the video I'm gonna enjoy this freaking awesome bass boat I'm already stoked man probably gonna take it out tomorrow but uh, also it felt really good to be back filming a video it has been probably six days since I filmed four days since I uploaded and I'm sorry about that but uh, yeah feels good to be holding the camera again I'm not holding it right now it's on the tripod but uh, you know what I mean you know what I mean but uh, yeah so uploads coming soon and tomorrow will be a John boat video but guys I hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch y'all in the next one peace